okay, I need to understand what is happening. Two years ago, when I looked like the picture on the right, I had tons of dates and invitations. Now, two years after picture on the left, I have literally zero matches. What am I doing wrong? Well, obviously, there are a lot of factors that come into play when it comes to getting attention online. But all things equal, I think that uh, a lot of men would agree with what I'm going to say right now. Maybe not all, but maybe the majority will agree. If a woman is attractive, such as this one, and she has rich features, big eyes, big eyebrows, big lips, uh, then she looks better when she has less makeup and when she's less processed. Generally, many guys, when they see a woman who is more natural looking or she has a subtle makeup, such as in the picture on the right, she looks more friendly, she looks more approachable, she looks more real. The picture on the left looks too processed, looked photoshopped. Some guys will uh, suspect that she's using filters. Some guys will suspect that she's uh, overly enhanced. Maybe she's high maintenance. Maybe she's generally using too much makeup. I don't think that men... Uh, I don't think that many women realize how many guys don't like too much makeup. Now, if you're not very attractive, if you don't have good features and you want to enhance them, that's totally understandable. But a lot of women who are attractive, who have naturally beautiful faces, such as this one, they shoot themselves in the foot um, by doing that. And um, that's unfortunate because they put so much effort, so much money into makeup and they make themselves look less attractive. You might say, well, you know, I have blemishes, I have maybe pimples, I have some, some little marks. It's not a big deal. Guys don't care. Guys would rather see that. Many guys would rather see that than touch a wall of powder or a, or, or a wall of paint, certainly when it comes to touching and kissing. And uh, I cannot tell if she did anything to her, to her lips, but I would really hope that if those are her natural lips on the right, she doesn't th even think about injecting them with anything because that would just be really bad. Um, also, if this is a fake tan, that doesn't flatter. If this is um, a spray, a tan spray, that doesn't flatter. So let me see what people say. Uh, let's look at the comments. If anybody agrees with me, I doubt it that anybody is going to agree. Let's see. Bumble was great for me. Let's see if there's any meaningful comment. Maybe I'm not correct. I don't know. Um, let's see. The picture is not the issue. You're beautiful in both. It could be a combination of things out of your control. Hmm. I wonder what you guys think who view this. Do I have a point or, or am I uh, an anomaly who thinks that way? Someone in their 20s may be okay with dating someone 29, but not 30. When you hit these age milestones, you might get less matches. Hmm. Nobody's pointing this out. Algorithms. Oh, wow. Finally, natural is much more appealing to the eyes. I still think you look great either way, but natural looks are the best. And that got 157, 58 with mine upvotes. Oh, another one. In your older photo, it seems like you have less makeup on. But that's fairly minor. Not necessarily that minor. Another person looks more natural. Oh, might seem rude, but I've become turned off by very oblivious and heavy makeup use. I really hope that women read this. Attractive, unattractive, all of them. It makes me think that she, she, any girl, is trying to cover up their looks instead of just complimenting. Also, I think excessive makeup makes someone look like a mannequin, less approachable, less friendly. Their face is more stoic. It might be good for a fashion show, but it's not good for dating profiles. People may say that they can do their makeup how they want, but if you're looking to attract others, you need to feed their idea of attractive. This is a perverse... Um, this is a perverse notion of freedom. I'm going to do what I want. Of course you can do what you want. Nobody can force you to do anything. You have to ask yourself, honest question, whatever you're wearing, whether it's makeup, whether you clothes, um, are you trying to attract other people? Would you like to attract other people? Then consider modifying, um, modifying your style.
The eyeliner is a bit outdated, plus the lighting in the right photo is better, but both photos are a little clo too close. I don't wear makeup at all, ever. I've been met with about 99% positive feedback on this from men I have talked with about it or dated. Wow. And I'm not the only one, but she's not wearing what I would call an excessive amount of makeup. She kind of does on the left picture. Uh, not completely ridiculous, but quite heavy. Uh, you know, if you're a woman who doesn't work at the department store makeup section, you're not representing a brand, but you have enough makeup to make it look like you do, that's too much makeup. If you look like you have a wedding attendance makeup, style but you're not going to a wedding that's too much makeup <laughs> interesting i really hope this comment doesn't get moderated but on the right picture you look like a white girl on the left picture in some ways uh look white but you also very well pass as middle eastern or indian descent or maybe even latin i don't know what part of the world you live in but in some places ethnicity can make or break a person's dating experience it's not racist it's simply a preference Let's see, Shaib Hita, right picture looks more aged. Oh, what do you mean? Let's see if we can look at any other comments. As a straight guy, it's entirely the makeup for me. Wow, another guy, Baron's dead. Everyone has their preference, but I haven't been a fan of the Kardashian-inspired makeup trend, especially if the girl looks a little bit like Kardashian. Also, I think some guys assume if she has too much makeup, it means she spends too much time and too much money on her makeup, and maybe she has some other things that are enhanced that again most guys don't like and i get how ridiculously hard it is to achieve the no makeup makeup look not for her she looks assuming that one of the pictures is without makeup she looks great without makeup i know some women are concerned well i look sleepy without makeup you look sleepy without makeup because the world has been programmed men women have been programmed to not see faces all they see is makeup all the time but if you meet a guy you might look sleepy to him for the first few minutes, but he's going to get used to it and he's going to appreciate it. Now, if you have something to hide, it's understandable. Makeup has its purpose. But if you don't, uh, you should not be using much of it, let alone a lot. Let's see. As someone who has dealt with a lot of insecurity with having vitiligo all over my face and body, I find wrinkles, smile, frown lines, acne scars, etc. appealing. It takes an insane level of confidence to not follow trends, to be comfortable in your own skin. I also find it endearing if you have a really good looking, uh, attractive woman and she has a little bit of a scarring from acne or even if she has a couple of pimples, makes her look more alive, more natural, more next door. And many guys very much prefer that over the overly enhanced look. However, you should present yourself in a way that makes you happy. If your current look makes you uh, all that BS, never mind. Um, I, again, I feel bad for saying this, but, but the picture on the right is more natural looking. Maybe we shouldn't feel bad about saying this. I think anybody would be happier to look better without makeup than with. Right picture looks more natural, both in terms of makeup as in the sense of the way you tilt your head. Absolutely. Right looks approachable girl next door. Left looks gets totally wasted at parties. Exactly. Um, here's the typical, I don't want to call it leftist or woke. Uh, let's just call it unproductive. Wear the makeup you like, your potential partner will like it too. This is not directed at you in particular, but as a whole, people need to stop telling someone to change who they are to get a match. I'm a girl who likes to get my nails done and wear a lot of makeup, and that's okay. There are guys who like that. There are plenty who don't, but those aren't the guys for me. I think we should all consider making minimal changes, minimal changes, to become more attractive to the type of men or to the type of women that we want to attract. Ironically, if you use less makeup, not only you will att likely attract more male attention, but you will also attract better attention. 
uh, you don't look as provoc provocative. You don't look as sexualized because many guys associate too much makeup on the on the woman's face with all kinds of, I don't know, erotic pictures or erotic websites and movies. Yeah, it sounds beautiful, but in reality, it fails. Um, I said, I don't think people should change who they are or what they like to attract a partner. And you went into attack mode. You can make slight modifications to who you are, especially when it comes to minor things like makeup that really don't change, um, that really don't affect who you are on the inside. Many guys, young, good-looking guys, have the dorkiest haircuts, right? Even yours truly sometimes has a hair hair issue, right? But we know that a haircut can transform how a man looks, his whole persona, his attitude. Even it lo it almost looks like it affects his body language. So let's not understate how much difference small adjustments can make. You look natural, sweet, and innocent on the photo on the right. The photo on the left is just a bad picture. Your skin tone looks uneven. Sunglass tan and the eyebrows eyeliner are overdone. I'm not sure what it is that you're looking for, but to me, the photo on the left scripts one night stand. Yes, this is an honest answer. While the photo on the right says relationship material. So true. Only got three upvotes. Again, the picture on the right looks unfiltered and authentic. The one on the left looks altered maybe it wasn't but i find the one the right attractive and approachable yeah more and more guys i guess i'm not the only one this makes me feel a little bit a little bit better so i really hope more women pay attention to this and if they watch this video they will consider um using less makeup especially if they're young and they've been been given god-given beauty that doesn't need to be enhanced and altered thanks for watching till next time